Je m'appelle Nindi, je suis américaine qui vit en France depuis 5 ans. And for today's video, I thought it would be fun uh, to take you guys along as I go on a little solo day trip to the city of Liverdun in the Lorraine region. And I thought we could explore the city, look at some of its history, and yeah, just have a nice little tranquil day trip. So let's go! To start, I took the train and was surprised that it was an older style train. Liverdun is a town near the city of Nancy with a population of less than 6,000 people. It was the former summer residence of the bishops of Toul, a town nearby. Today, it's definitely a sleepy town, but most famous for its small cakes called Madeleine. Let's hike up to the upper part of the city. These modern stairs were installed in 2005, but personally, I prefer the cobblestone. It's much more charming. First up, we have l'Hôtel de Camille. In 1717, this Episcopal hotel was built as a summer residence. This archway dates from the 16th century, but today it serves as a welcoming point for tourists. Here we can see the town wash house. This was actually used up until the 2000s, before the women of the village had to go down to the river to wash their clothes. This is one of my favorite things I discovered in town. They have many hidden statues that are tucked away in nooks. They were meant to protect the people of the town, but also served as a way to know where you were in the town. Some of these statues are actually located in La Place de la Fontaine. This town square was the heart of the village where the market was held in the 13th through the 18th century. There are also arcades, or covered archways, that date from the 15th and 16th century. In the 12th century, a bishop of Toul took the fortress ruins and decided to rebuild the High Gate as a way to protect the north entrance or upper town of the city. The two towers surrounding it were added in the following two centuries. These two towers were used as a lookout point as well as a refuge for the poor in prison. Today, it's a fairly quiet area with some car traffic along with this beautiful view of the Moselle River. I can't be certain, but from my research, this used to be a hospital in the 15th century. In 1629, this house was rented to a widow, and then later to a glazier, or someone who fits glass into windows, but always reserving a room for the poor to stay. Here we have La Maison du Gerbeau. Tithing, or a tax of the clergy, was the sum to be paid relating mainly to agricultural products. This house was used as early as the 16th century to collect these taxes. It was originally owned by someone named Gerbeau, and it's thought that he owned several homes on this street. Nowadays, it's someone's beautiful home. This is Hotel 1900. In the early 1900s, railway brought 40,000 visitors annually and 30,000 came by road. Because of this, a hotel was created about halfway up the city and built in the remains of a rampart and tower. However, it was never fully finished, though it did operate for a short time, but closed its doors before World War I. And now for a quick little stop over at Chateau Corbin. This castle was originally built in 1837 by a bank owner. Today it's used as a cultural center, a media library, and for shows. We also have a great view of the river from the garden area. This turned out to be a super nice little afternoon trip. It's a cute spot to walk around, enjoy the river, and if you do visit, I definitely recommend the website in the description box as a great virtual map. I also stopped to get some fruit juice as I was interviewing people for another video. I'll link that above if you're interested in checking it out. It was a lot of fun to film, and I got some interesting answers. Alright, one more stop before our train. 
Now we can't leave Le Verdun without trying their famous Madeleine. They have a cute shop and the staff was very friendly. I did test them out and I gotta say I prefer the ones from Commercy. The ones in Le Verdun were a bit too dry for me. Alright, our train's here. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more travel or French American videos. And let me know what are some of your favorite small towns that you've visited. Thanks so much. Bisous. Salut and à la prochaine!